welcome back to another video. This time, it's not a Wreckers video. It's something a little bit sketchier. I thought I'd bring you guys along. I'll explain what's about to happen. 24 hours ago, my friend Lachlan messaged me and asked me if I wanted to come buy a car from the police impound lot. My initial reaction was, but then I had a light bulb moment and realized it was a fantastic idea. The next morning, Peter and I picked up Lachlan and we were on our way to the bloke's house. The plan went like this. We drive to old mate's house, sign the registration transfer forms, pay the bloke a holding deposit for the car, drive to the impound lot, collect the car, then drive all the way back to the guy's house and pay him the rest of the cash. Now, you might be wondering why the f did the guy not just drive to the impound lot and pay for his car to get bailed out? Well, it's pretty simple. The guy didn't have the cash or a driver's license to do so. Finally, the man gets the message that this is one battle he won't win. So, Peter and Lachlan just finished up with a guy. How was that, guys? He was very nice and seemed honest. Yeah, surprisingly, he wasn't as dodgy as I originally anticipated. He was very straight up with, uh, with the car. I guess we'll see if uh, it's in one piece, I guess. Yeah, it's all a bit of a, a bit of a risk for Lachlan. You know, when these opportunities come about, you sort of got to jump on them, and sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't, but it's all a calculated risk. This whole thing is all very strange. Lachlan, when he texted me, I'm like, how is this going to work? And obviously we're in the process. We're almost at the impound yard. We'll update you guys when we get there. So we walked into the impound lot office and the lady behind the counter was very confused and hadn't seen a transaction like this before. Lachlan did his best to articulate himself and explain that he was collecting a car on behalf of a total stranger. All right, Lockie just paid the monies to get the car out. Hopefully it doesn't have a dead battery because it's been here for five weeks. And we just found out that today was the last day we could get the car out before it gets basically on sold to an auction or whatever, like repossessed by the state, essentially. We made our way around to the warehouse where they kept all the impounded cars, gave them the paperwork and patiently waited for this mysterious BMW. This was the car in question, a 2006 BMW E90 335i. And as you can see in the description, the registration was suspended and as a result, impounded, which was reflected in the price of the car. And as you can see, the car resembled a Western Suburbs VT Commodore more than an actual BMW. This thing was rice out with stickers, and it gave us a little bit of a glimpse as to what the previous owner was like. Bro, the paint's in good nick. Oh, look at the sunroof. Might be like half open or... Bro, this thing... Good purchase. Killer cow, BT pair. Bro, this is nuts. Oh yeah, walkie talkie. I have to be really discreet because you're not allowed to, uh, not, not allowed to film here. Now, Lachlan, you're reliving your, uh, 335 peep play the dreams. Who cares about the S15 and Skyline? 177,000 Ks? You lied about the Ks a bit. Bro, it actually moves. Wow. I'm a fan. There's ash everywhere. Is it warm? It's not warm yet. Don't thrash it. Alright. Lockie and I have had a bit of time to take this whole thing in. What are your first impressions? Honestly, pretty good car. It's got a few bits and pieces that are a bit, a bit iffy, like yeah. uh, the Look, cigarette ash like everywhere. Oh, I see. yeah, yeah, and the, and the stickers everywhere. There's a few boogers I'm sitting on as well. Not ideal, not optimal. I'll reveal later in this video how much Lockie paid for this because there's always a catch with these with these things. Like it's a good deal, but there's a lot of around that lock on that to do but he's got a new daily he's currently got an n52 330i e90 so this is like the most logical upgrade so the next step up from yeah a, from a p-plater to a, a full license exactly driver. yeah it's still got the the zf feels mint the motor's good sounds healthy pulls really well as well a bit of waste gate yeah, it's got a bit of waste gear out of it. Oil filter housing's leaking. Typical BMW stuff. Exactly, yeah. When we get out of the single door, full walk around. After spending a couple of hours in Melbourne rush hour traffic, it was then too late to film the car, so I had to wait the next day, came over to Lachlan's house, and we got straight to work. All 
Alright, the 335i adventure continues. We're back at Lachlan's house, it's the next day. All these stickers have to come off. I mean, the guy was nice, he owns this car crew with the previous owner. And Lachlan has just finished flashing the trans. So, what do you do when you buy a car less than 24 hours ago? You f with it, so. You blow it up, that's what you, you blow do. Blow it up, yeah, that's it. Everything on max? Everything max, shift speed, line pressure, everything bumped up max, blowing up the chance today. So he's basically put a shift kit in it. But yesterday, when this car wasn't heat soaked, it was rapid, like it was really quick. The trans was, you know, it was all right. It was shifting kind of slow. Hopefully it should make it a bit quicker now. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That thing just pulls! It just f pulls and pulls. I hate that blow off though. Not it does not suit the car at all. Brady's struggling <laughs> for traction. Bro, this thing has a lot of like mechanical grip. Yeah. Like the chassis is so good. It just has some like generic tires on the back and it's gripping hard. It needs to be louder though. Have you seen the uh, the 18 millimeter hole in the No, the no. Lachlan texted me last night. He said someone drilled a hole in the exhaust. <laughs> now it's probably a good time to tell you guys that Lachlan managed to secure this car for 7.7 that's including bailing the car out of impound and paying for the car. What a steal. All right, this is starting to look like an actual business jet now. All those hideous stickers do not belong on a car like this. Even though it's just like a $15,000 BMW, it looks a lot more expensive now. It doesn't have all these hideous stickers on it. Now that we've tuned the trans, then you go tune the engine, because of course you do. It's already got a stage two plus tune on it, but Lachlan wants to make it a little bit spicier. Now that the trans feels so good. So we're gonna go do that. Just flash a version 10 tune on your car. Pops and crackles, off you go. So what are your thoughts now that it's all tuned and everything and all the stickers are off? Completely different car. Yeah. The, the new tune feels incredible. I'm yeah. sure you can see in the clips. It yeah. pulls like a freight train. The transmission, it feels fantastic now. Before it was like flaring on shifts and stuff. It didn't have enough line pressure to keep the trans like shifting properly. And the new version 10 MHD tune, crazy. It chirps the wheels in second now on the shift. So this thing now looks like a complete sleeper. And you know, this car was a gamble for Lachlan. Like we could have gotten to the impound lot and it could have been completely screwed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. A few boogers I'm sitting on as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now.